but tonight's theme is games that are clearly inspired by Mega Man X or its offshoots, or even other games that were previously inspired by Mega Man X or its offshoots. Um, this is definitely Mega Man X inspired. Might be, might be a little bit of Azure Striker Gunvolt. Not entirely sure. I haven't actually played that game or that franchise at all. Um, but something that I saw in either the trailer for this or the Steam Store page gave me that impression. Um, let me actually restart the game so that we can see the, uh, the intro and stuff, because there is a little, a, a little intro cinematic. I like how there's explanations, but then Cancel needs no explanation, so it just starts as this, like, initially blank dialogue. Um... And then there was also a, another quit thing there. Um, one thing that I need to do, actually, is I do need to tweak the volume more, because I'm gonna leave the sound effects maxed, actually, because the music was absolutely overpowering the sound effects in the actual game. So, we're gonna try that. Um, we'll, ta we'll talk more about the options once I restart the game, so let me do that. And to restart, you actually have to hold B. It, like, fills up the little B colon quit prompt at the bottom right. Um, but let's restart it so we can see the little intro that they have Sweet. as well. Sweet! There's a Berserk Boy Games logo. OBS is taking its sweet time to capture. There we go. So yeah, not only Mega Man X inspired, but Mega Man X4 inspired with those cutscenes. Um... But yeah, so this is Berserk Boy. Oh, it, it has... It's funny how it's showing an enter prompt here, presumably because I was using the mouse, which they have a custom mouse cursor as well, apparently. Um, but if you're using controller, it shows a, a start button prompt, I believe, typically. Um, but yeah, so like I said, the menu music doesn't loop, so it kind of ends there, and now we just have nice little quiet wildlife noises. Um, I am going to go and read the Steam store page, though. So, let's, let's see what that has to say. In the distant future, a mad scientist, of course, and his army of darkness seek to enslave the people of Earth. Hope for all humanity rests with the resistance, but are they enough? Enter K, a rookie hero who is transformed by mysterious orb energy into Berserk Boy. Oh man, GDQ is going to have a field day with this one. Orb energy? Really? They knew what they were doing when they made this plot. Um, with high speed action and the power to defeat evil, Berserk Boy, in all caps by the way, must face off against the diabolical, diabolical Dr. Genos and his army of dark energy minions. And he save the world before it's too late? It's time to go Berserk, also in all caps. Uh, features, unleash your ultimate form with the power of the Berserk orbs, lightning, fire, earth, air, and ice. Five elements, interesting. And become a force to be reckoned with. Go Berserk, this time not in all caps. Uh, become a master of speed and skill as you chain together combos to fill your Berserk meter and unleash devastating special attacks. Upgrade your abilities and become an unstoppable force. Explore the sprawling world of New Hope City and beyond. Unlock hidden missions along the way. Jump, dash, slam, and slide through multiple stages with Metroidvania elements as you discover alternate paths and hidden collectibles. Alright, you have my attention now. So, this might actually... So, the game that I'm going to be checking out after this very much wears its Mega Man Zero inspirations on its sleeves. We might have some of that in this one as well. Um, I never played much of the Mega Man Zero games. I did play... At some point, I fully played the first Mega Man ZX. I really liked that one. Berserk Boy brings retro gaming into the modern age with slick and stylish platforming action inspired by the genre greats. You'll be able to play for big scores and fast times in this modern adventure with a retro feel. Music by Sonic Mania composer T. Lopez. Is it Lopez or is it Lopes? It ends with an S. Uh, I'm sorry I'm mispronouncing that. Soundtrack by the master behind other amazing works such as the TMNT soundtrack, Streets of Rage 4, Metal Slug Tactics, and more. Enjoy the high-energy beats as you go berserk and save the world. Uh, yeah, I mean, what we've heard of the soundtrack already so far seems uh, like a pretty good start. So let's get into it so we can hear more of it. Although first I need to look at the options. Um, so we've got language. Actually, how many languages are there to choose from? English, French, um, German, 
uh, so Latin American, Spanish, Japanese, Korean, B Brazilian, Portuguese. Uh, is that is that is that Russian or is that Polish or what is that exactly? I am not sure. That's Chinese. We got Italian. Hey, what's it coming to go? Uh, we got Italian, and we're back to English. Um, yeah, I am not. I am not familiar with my East European and North Asian languages. Uh, we've got keyboard and controller bindings, so I'll just go into here real quick so we can see what we've got. But we've got uh, a dash, an alternate dash button, which is on a face button, uh, a heavy attack on B, uh, berserk move, which is right trigger, previous and next forms. Not entirely sure what that's going to be yet, but, I mean, it is modeled after Mega Man, so. Uh, we've got a form wheel, which presumably is related to these, but gives you, like, a breather to actually select them. And we've got menu controls. There is... I'm, I'm surprised that heavy attack is on B. I'm so used to games having heavy attack on Y. And, like, the way that this is bound makes me think that dash is a main ability. Uh, I'm trying to remember... Actually, I, I hate to invoke the name, but didn't Mighty Number no. 9 kind of have Dash as a main ability, actually? Uh, I did not play much of that. Like, I tried the demo and couldn't even get through the demo of Mighty Number no. 9, mostly because it required a very specifically placed Dash in one place, and if you got it wrong, you died. Not good level design in that one. Um... You've got resolution and display mode, you've got full screen, which the interesting thing about full screen in this is I can alt-tab very quickly. Um, it might be exclusive full screen, I'm not sure, but the funny thing is OBS completely blacks out when I alt-tab out of it. Uh, there's a CRT filter, I don't even want to know, but uh, I'll try turning it on. It seem Is it doing something here? It is doing something here, it's actually pretty subtle. If okay, there is a bit of a scan line effect on that. Uh, like, uh, like I said earlier, audio, the music is very loud compared to the sound effects, so I am balancing accordingly. And then you've got the accessibility option of disabling death. On top of that, though, there are also two, like, difficulty modes to play the game in. Um, we might experiment with both. One to get through the game, get, make sure we get through the demo, and then the other one to see how much it ramps up the difficulty. Uh, so I'm gonna go with a new game. Uh, yeah, so you can see it says Modern down there right now. That is one of the difficulty modes. Yeah, uh, wait, you think it was actually more visible on the stream? It took me a while to, like, I was, I guess I was looking in the wrong place for it, but when I looked at the, like, the settings on the right side, like, the values, I noticed it. I would have thought it would be less noticeable on the stream. <laughs> um, so you can see Modern at the bottom of this file select, and that is the difficulty mode. We're gonna just overwrite that now. Uh, oh, you have to... Okay. Rather than filling up the letters gradually with a color... It, they, <laughs> that does a countdown that is increasingly over-caffeinated. I've never seen that before. Um, also, interestingly, I was just pressing A to select that, and it was actually, like, erasing it in a step before picking the, the save file when you're under the new game menu. So, interesting. Uh, so yeah, we're going to create a new save file here. So here you go. Here are your difficulty modes. You've got Modern, where you play with infinite retries, and you've got Retro, where you play with set lives and face stronger enemies. So Retro isn't just, like, Mega Man mode. It's also, it makes the game harder at the same time. So I'm going to try Modern first. We can play through at least part of it again afterwards on Retro just to see how much harder it is. Once I know what I'm doing, hopefully. That's That might be asking a lot of me. All right, let me get my timer rolling. Ark, Fiora, what's what's happening to me? I think you need some icy hot. Concentrate, K. Oh man, I can feel my nerves buzzing. Just as I feared, the security has been taken out. Now there's nothing stopping dark energy from overrunning the city. Can't stop shaking. Hey, I know you can do this. this oh, he's got a deep voice. The orbs react to your emotions. Center yourself. Take a deep breath. I need you to merge with the orb again. You know what to say, right? Come on, Kay. You can do this. Deep breaths. Oh, we gotta push a button. Go berserk! Go berserk. Amazing stuff, kiddo. 
It really works! Sweet! This feels good! Take this! Justice! Now let's go find Dizzy! Okay, so... Okay, and why was the button that brings up the form wheel or whatever? But we only have one form right now, I think. And that's what the, uh, when we looked at the file select first, I think it showed that as well. Okay, tutorial messages. Collect red health orbs to increase your health when you have taken damage. Staying on checkpoints restores your health to max. Your energy refills over time. Okay, energy is a second meter. Collect blue energy orbs to fill up your energy meter faster. Some abilities depend on your energy meter, so be, full, uh, be sure to keep an eye on it. Yellow Berserk Orbs. Yellow? Yellow Berserk Orbs. Uh, and, uh, and defeating enemies will fill up your Berserk Meter. Berserk Enemy uh, Energy. I can, I can say words tonight. It does not fill up automatically. Right, so like the, ener the blue Energy Meter fills up over time, they said, right? So they have to distinguish that. Your Berserk Move icons should appear when you have enough Berserk Energy to do a special attack. Make sure to use your Berserk ability to dish out major damage. Okay, but is there going to be a giant enemy... Uh, yeah, giant enemy crab to, to use it on, though. Important question. Okay. Uh... What is... What does that symbol mean? Oh, okay. So, you have fast travel within the area, but all the other points are locked right now. I'm not sure... <laughs> This seems dangerous. The fact that you can accidentally arrow over to quit from the from the fast travel icons. Like, maybe that deserves to be on its own line so that you have to, like, press a vertical direction to get to quit from that. Um, but okay. I can wall grab on the edge of the area. Hey, there's stuff up here. This, this is some, like, European Amiga platformer level design with the random stuff in the top left corner. Remember, always go left first. Alright, so there's our dash. Yeah, this- that actually- the dash does make me think of, like, Mighty Number no. 9 and stuff, actually. I'm sure this game will be better than that, though. Um... What other controls did we have? We had a heavy attack, right? Did that use- that did not use energy. Okay. It looks like all of our meters are full right now. And yeah, our form change buttons do not do anything right now. We can unmorph, though. Uh, so what are we doing? Oh, okay. Are we just dropping through? Oh, we're ground pounding. Okay. If you're holding down and then press the jump button again, I'm surprised... Oh, you can do it with the dash button also. I was gonna say, I'm surprised they didn't bind that to the dash button. You can also dash upwards. Also, that's a wall. I, I was so, like occupied by this very prominent-looking column that I didn't even realize this was a wall. I can't break that, huh? Wait, no, yes I can. You just have to try multiple- That's background, dude. How- wait, hang on. Alright, someone explain to me how this thing that looks like background is foreground, and then this thing that looks like foreground, and is literally in front of the thing that is not background, is background. It, and there's actually ceiling there, so that's a little wonky. Alright, who are you? Hey, you okay there? Uh, okay, we're, we're rescuing folks, I guess. So this is like, what was the first X game that added rescuing dudes? Was that X5, X6? I don't remember. Um, I really only play... The only, the only X game I ever really fully completed was the first one, and I've only played the first three on SNES to any significant extent, but I've seen people play X4... Uh, now, this is saying right trigger. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, that- there goes my meter. <laughs> what? Oh, I was supposed- they wanted me to use that to break the blocks here. Okay, I'm slow. And that's our- that's our energy. Um, but now, hang on a sec. That doesn't- does that use energy? That uses- okay, the dash uses energy. That's important to realize. I was not paying attention to what does and doesn't use energy. That's probably... So the energy is really just meant as a cooldown, I think, because it seems like it recharges fast. Like, it recharges by the time I can dash again anyway. Okay, also, those, those have, like, a certain amount of magnetism to them. 
Wait, was there anything else in here? Like, I sh should I be checking ceilings and stuff? Can I do diagonal dashes? I can do diagonal dashes. Okay, that's important. That's more than I can say for Aaron that I played on the first night. That's right, we were doing platformers on the first night. That's what I was doing. Uh, what is this? Dash into enemies to tag and unleash havoc on your foes. So, when they mentioned tagging, that's that's when I was thinking of Gunvolt. Because I thought that had a tagging system, but I honestly forget because it's been so long since I watched gameplay of that. Um, but Mighty Number no. 9 might have had that too. I honestly forget. If the trail is blue, press B to strike tagged enemies with lightning. Okay, so B is the heavy attack. Oh, yeah, this, this seems like a Gunvolt kind of thing. Uh, when you've launched an enemy in the air, press A to super jump. Be sure to keep an eye on your berserk moves in the bottom left of the sc Oh, the bottom left has stuff, too. Uh, okay. That must be where the combo comes in. What is that saying down there? Because that's saying, like, that's saying left stick, but then it's also saying L2? Oh, because L2 is your other dash button, right. Okay, so now I'm... I wish I could get to the settings from here, because now I'm actually finding that the background music is much quieter than the audio. But, like, the voices at the very beginning were, like, getting drowned out by the music back when I had the music higher. That's why I turned it down. Uh, it seems weird that I can't adjust that mid-game. Like, the... The... the what, pfft, all right, bye, dude. Uh, the, the back button on the controller doesn't open anything. I'm surprised that's not, like, an option menu or something. Oh god, there's spikes there. That would have been awful if I had landed there. Oh jeez, okay. Uh, do you- do you come back eventually? No? Alright, Oh, y yes it does! Just randomly, just suddenly, there's no, like, lead-in animation to that, it just happens. Okay, I'm assuming that's gonna turn on again. Yeah, okay, that gave a little bit of a cue there, I think, that it's turning on again. What I'm not understanding is I'm seeing little icons... Ne ...like, uh, over me, and I'm not sure what those mean. Oh, you can slide down alright, that's fun. This is- this, you got, like, near Automata-style, uh, ladder sliding. What I can't get over is how chunky the ladder climbing noises are. <laughs> Like, these are some serious ladders, and we have some serious boots, apparently. That... They've got, like, varied ladder climbing noises, too. Uh, got anything up here? Ooh, that looks like something. Whoa, okay. Hello. Person to save. Please save the others. So there's a resistance meter, and I guess that's just how many of them we've saved. Uh, I feel like the backgrounds are sometimes trying to tell me stuff, and I'm like trying to figure out exactly how often they're trying to tell me things. Alright, well we dunked that guy. Hey, you okay there? 25? Wait, didn't we just go from 10% to 25%? How does that work? Are, are, are certain resi- are they like- are they measured by weight or, or volume or something? Are there load-bearing resistance members? Oh, I thought that might have been, like, something to dash into. It is. Turns out. But yeah, when I, the next time I get to, like, an obvious save point, I might, like, go readjust the audio again. Uh, oh, jeez. We're really doing Sonic the Hedgehog things here. Holy crap. Okay, hang on. There's stuff here. Why am I not jumping off of that? Okay, so you have to hold... Alright, this is the second game this week that I have had confusing uh, jump interactions with things, because in Aaron you have to always be holding up, even when you face away from the wall. This one you have to continue to face the wall in order to wall jump. If you face away from the wall before you press jump, you will not jump, you will fall. So you absolutely have to, like... Hold toward the wall, jump, then dash away. Wait, what was that? That was an interesting interaction that just happened. Oh, hang on. I swear I had to jump away, but maybe I was just lucky. 
Yeah, even if I let if I let go of left at all there, I start falling. Even if I'm holding up. Let's get rid of this block. It feels lonely. Need to put it out of its misery. Uh, I can't see if there's anything on that wall because my HUD is blocking it. Ah, th I like how that guy was just patiently not doing anything. Uh, oh, okay. Interesting? Okay, and we can open it from that side, too. Okay, so yeah, I'm seeing the things in the bottom left corner now. And it's not clear to me whether those are related to... I do have a full meter, so it might be related to, like, the super move. Bonk. That was a very meaty bonk sound. Hang on, there's stuff down there. Oh yeah, so this also has grinding, which I immediately think of Spectre of Torment from uh, Shovel Knight. I'm sure other games have done it too. Oh, that was the wrong button. Fortunately, that didn't actually switch forms, because I didn't want it to. Okay, yeah, we can just glide through that. Oh, that d wait, that doesn't have collision? That doesn't have collision. Okay, so that's just a hazard. That's surprising, though. Oh, well, I guess he gets to live. Can I go back up there? I can. Alright, he's dead now. I don't understand what the little icons that appear over me for, like, a split second are. Looks useful. I better head to a teleporter. Okay. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. So if you dash and you're not holding a direction, you automatically dash in the direction you are currently facing. I got hit before I could hit him. Interesting. Uh... Okay, there's... <laughs> well, I can tell what those icons mean <laughs> at the bottom of the screen right now. Okay, we got our health back there, and this is one of the fast travels. Okay. Um, I presume that this might count as a save point? So, let me... Let me do this now. So I can rebalance audio. If I'm wrong, then we're doing it over again. We'll see what happens. Alright. Uh, let me rebalance things. So actually, let me turn this down a little bit, because that what? Oh no! The game crashed. <laughs> Alright. Data structure with index does not exist. All I did was change the volume, dude. <laughs> okay, well that was interesting. <laughs> hmm. Well, hopefully the developer will see this and glean valuable insight from it. I got a I got a comment from the developer of um of uh, Wolf Knight. I can't remember the first part of the title now. Uh, one of the second game that I played on my first my first night of Next Fest demos, saying that he saw me uh, he saw me run into some bugs that he knows he has to fix now. Um, so I'm always glad when I can be useful to the developer. <laughs> All right. Uh, wait. No, no. Hang on. Let's go fix the options first that I was gonna do to begin with. So it actually did save. That I changed that to an eight. Alright, so let's try... You know what? I won't turn the music up too much because it might drown out the voices again. There's no separate audio knob for voice volume. It would be cool if there was so that I could keep that maxed. Anytime a game gives me a chance to keep voice volume adjusted separately, I always max it. Okay, let me see where this puts me. Okay, it did keep this. So we're exactly where we left off. Great. Maybe I should have lowered the audio even more than I did. Uh, we got two directions to go here. Oh, oh, we got Metroidvania aspects. Okay. Yeah, because we can't do anything with that right now. Is there anything else up here? I don't think so.
Oh, that's new. Oh, jeez. Don't, don't be in spikes. Oh. I thought he was gonna stop doing that sooner. Oh. Surprise. I am getting real beat up now. I gotta be ready to combo them if they don't immediately die. Like that. Oh, that was the wrong button. Okay. Uh, it's interesting that that... Does that always look like it animates from the left? And then it looked like it cleared as it was animating off the screen again? There might be some glitches in the resistance meter animation. That was health, right? I believe that was health because it was red. Uh, we can't get that right now either. For the same reason. Um, should I should I be taking notes? Let me take notes. Which I'm all tabbing in order to do. Which means the game goes away. Sorry. Uh, so we had... I'm just going to put a generic note for both of them. Okay. Just so I don't forget. Wait. Oh, that was just the mouse cursor. I was like, did that mean I could do something there? No. Okay, I can't go up there. These things are probably going to disappear. Rude. Alright, hang on. We gotta check for stuff down here. I haven't really been using, like, the full power Berserk move, have I? Because isn't that on, like, right trigger or something? Okay, that's our third. Yeah, I guess it does animate all the way from the left. That guy was only worth 5%. Like, some of them are worth more than others. I don't know if I agree with that. Alright, why are they letting me shoot that way? I want to see what's down here first. Like, there's a rail there, too, so, like, why would you let me shoot that one? Oh, that makes me land on that, conveniently enough, okay. And that... That seems to, like, get out of that... I guess it, like, carries for a certain minimum length, and then it sees the rail, because, like, last time it went through an entire screen, and then as soon as it saw the rail, it put me on it. quite a sub-tank, but, you know, I got Flame Mammoth stage vibes right there. Okay, don't go that way. Oh, he's already dead anyway. Okay, got both of them. Okay, and that one... I guess that one exists to come back. I don't know why it's all the way up there, though. Alright, which way are we actually going here? So we can go that way. Oh, there's just stuff down here. Wait a minute. How would... Okay, I thought he was actually, like, leaving the wall without me explicitly jumping. But maybe not. Okay, more health. I don't actually need that. I don't want to explore, but kind of don't want to fall into spikes. Or... Or that. Um... Was that a full bone respawn? So my health is still full, so that might have been a full blown that might have been my first death, technically. But yeah, I sure flubbed that one. What on earth is going on there? Like I feel like I wasn't actually jumping. I wasn't jumping. There's some kind of like ledge vault thing or something going on, because I did not press jump at all there, and he went up. But do I want to be up here? I don't know. Can't believe that last one didn't get sucked in. 
Okay, so we I didn't even realize. Yeah, we needed to go that way, and there's a shortcut over here. How did you get the shield back that quick? Jeez, dude. I prob I should have used like the special move for that guy. Okay, so I feel like bullets can end up looking maybe like the yellow pickups, I'm not sure. I mean, I haven't been using the yellow pickups, but I do have to wonder about that. Wait, was there anything else over here? So I presume that icon on that means that like I need to be using this form specifically, so like I would have to switch forms later. Oh, I gotta wait for those to come back now. I don't think I missed anything over here. I guess, I guess the blue ones are ones that are generally stable and won't betray you. Oh, that gets rid of the shield immediately. Yeah, so... Uh, okay, we just picked up one of them there. Yeah, the Go Berserk... Or rather, the, the Berserk Meter refill uh, bubbles are very close to bullets in terms of appearance. They are the same color. Uh-oh. Yep, that, that wasn't good. Fortunately, that didn't immediately kill me. Also, fortunately, they had health there. Oh, well, we're going this way now. This is a very Boomer Kalanger elevator, I feel like. Oh, it does go back down. Just every time I land on it, it goes. Uh, warning. Hmm. Maybe, maybe something's coming. Oh, somebody help us! Or Shades. We got this, Kay. Let's take him out. Let's find out what you got. I was gonna say, that's not the actual boss. Of course it's a spider. Oh, he's on fire. Did that even hit him? I feel like it didn't. Oh, screen shake. Holy crap. I mean, you know, they have to do the Mega Man X-esque explosion thing, so. But Mega Man X games don't usually do the screen shake like that. Eesh. Um, I had one thought during that. Oh yeah, so like, they have the very obvious warning stripe before he comes crashing down. But the fun, the thing that I found hilarious was they also showed exclamation points, like, as he was crashing down. Like, if you were reacting to those exclamation points, you were getting hit, because it was too late. It's like, the, the big red flashing line was the thing that really clued you into don't be here. I'm not really sure what the exclamation points were doing. <laughs> Are you guys okay? Thank you. Don't mention it, but it's not safe around here. I'm gonna send you both to the home base. You won't forget this. Still no sign of Dizzy. This isn't good. The security still seems to be down all over the city. If the generators are bust, there's no stopping those things coming in. So what now? 
Let's head back to base. Maybe Dizzy and the Resistance are waiting for us. Well, tell the commander what's going on. He'll know what to do. You're coming too, right? I'm stuck with you for the time being, kid. Let's head to base. Let's do it. I was gonna say, I thought I got a death in there. The death was really silly, but I did get a death in there. Okay, so you get a rank on each stage, which is not unlike the, uh, the Zero games and whatnot. I have no idea what that bar at the bottom is right now. Okay, so now we are in our normal form. Ugh, we made it. Oh, don't mind the mess. I, uh, wasn't expecting visitors. Oh, is this just your room? What, did you think this was the whole place? I'll show you around later. First, though, we should tell the commander what just happened. He'll probably be in the command center. Lead the way, okay? Lead the way, he says. I've never seen this place before. You are about to be extremely disappointed. Okay, so I can still kind of dash. And it does still technically drain energy. I cannot use my Berserk mode, though. Uh, wait. Can I actually... Okay, no. It... Wait. Alright, that was weird. When it was highlight when it was first highlighted on the on the wheel, it wasn't actually changing, but then I pressed left and left or right bumper and it changed anyway. I'm not sure if that's intended to be possible in this area. I still don't understand what what the icons on the bottom left mean either. Alright, so it's telling us where the dude is. What else is around here though? Is that a save point? What What is that? And what is that, for that matter? I, I have no idea what this means right now. The way that has, like, a glowing outline makes me think it's supposed to be interactable, but it's not. It might be that nothing is really... Wait, now... Oh, now he doesn't do the sliding down ladders in this form, apparently. Okay, so... So he can only slide down ladders in that form. Seems like nobody's here right now. I need to go speak to the commander. Okay, but thou must. We're not going that way right now. But yeah, this is definitely giving Mega Man Zero vibes with the base like this. Kay and Fjord explained the situation to the commander and Dr. Quinn. If everything you say is true, we've got no time to lose. I have to give this guy some kind of voice, and Kay already has the deep voice, so I don't know what I'm doing. We can't just sit around and wait for everything to unfold. He knows. One of our best scientists. Okay be okay? Pun intended. Between you and me, he wasn't our first pick for the front lines. Well, the Berserk Orbs only merge with suitable hosts. Uh, it's complicated. Wait, why did that just give- That was definitely a voice line for Fior, but K is the one who has a dialogue open. Was that just delayed, or... Does this orb think I'm a suitable host? Seems so. Until now, I've never seen an orb willingly merge with someone. Genos had some success in for forcing unifications, but... Well, let's just say the process isn't without its flaws. Well then, what are we waiting for? We've got people to save. Yo, do you know where we can find the rest of the Berserk Orbs? I know Genos, I'm sure I can help. And it's settled. Your new assignment is to work together and secure the remaining Berserk Orbs. Right after you get over the headache that I just caused with this screen shake because I yelled so freaking loud. Sweet. Yes! Wait, the yes in all caps didn't shake the screen though. Roger that. And I, your fearless commander, will sit on my ass and do nothing because I'm not actually fearless. I'll be cheering you both over. Like I said, your fearless list commander. In other words, he's not fearless. Uh, thanks, commander. I appreciate it, commander. Please, be all right. Make yourself at home. Oh, that's actually that's actually what his voice is like. Okay. Leslie, just don't call him late for dinner. And don't call him Shirley either. Wait, that's the commander's name? Yes, sir. Leslie, we'll, we'll stop Genos and get those orbs to safety. 
Yeah, leave it to us, Liz I mean, Commander. Make re rescuing Dizzy your priority for now. And don't forget to help any Resistance members you find along the way. Let's see what we've got here. <clears throat> is this Quinn? Hey, that Berserk form you change into is quite remarkable. A physical suit made from pure energy. I've never seen anything like it. If you could collect blue orbs and bring them to me... Oh yeah, we've been doing that. I've been wondering what they were for. I'm sure I can improve it even further, so I'm assuming that bar at the end of the level might have been blue orb fueled? And might have to do with, like, upgrade levels or something? I'll be waiting in the lab, as always. Let's see that suit! Now, Shu, go and find me some materials so I can work on that suit of yours. I think it just, like, instantly transformed me into the form I was in before the dialogue. Are you ready to head out? Oh, and he gives us missions. Okay. Uh, everything is locked. Let me know when you're ready. I guess the city is screwed. I... wait. That was... which direction did I come from originally? There isn't a map, is there? We can continue, we can... let me get the cursor out of there, because I'm not really using the... Um, what does warping do? Interesting. Hang on a sec. Is is this supposed to be the place we were just in? Or is this act no, this is actually the hub. Okay. Uh Dizzy's room, Quinn's room. Uh, was Dizzy's room the one with the teddy bear? And then the hangar is there. Were we in there? We weren't in there before, right? And we weren't down here either, right? Because that was the restricted area. Yeah, let's go there again, because I'm curious if we can get ourselves into trouble. Who are you? Really making a name for yourself out there. Uh, person of few words. Okay. All right. Wait. If anything, I expected that to be the guy snoozing. I fear you still. Down to play some Mega Lad later? I see what you did there. Hey, Fiora, what's up? If your shit's made of energy, does that mean you don't need to do laundry? <laughs> Asking the important questions. Wait, what? Partners of Bird? How exciting! Oh no, I didn't sign up for this. Uh, alright, so we weren't allowed to go this way before, right? Sector. is this- if this is Sector does that make this Corridor 7? New Hope City takes up the whole of Sector 7. That's where we are now. Who the heck are you? I brought all my possessions over from Sector 3. All but one. Okay. Wind noises? I don't make the rules, I just... Wait. Actually, I do make the rules. What? I'm assuming I can't go under there. <laughs> well, that answers that question. Hang on, can I, like, do a dash right from here and get the- yes, I can. This- this is almost like that one part of the, uh, Mighty Number no. 9 demo that made me stop playing it, except that you know where you have to start the dash in this case. And it's open-ended on the other end. Okay, we can't go through here. We need another element that we don't have. Uh, can we not go left? That looks like an open area, but it's not. Okay. Alright, well, we just died a second time. In a place that I shouldn't even be messing with right now. Uh, I guess we'll see what's up here. I figured I would just have to tap the button and then it would naturally go to the next floor, but no! It stops exactly where you stopped tapping the button. Alright, you can't go down. I feel like it would be faster to just dash up here. Uh... My son here is so excited to see a real resistance base. Can I talk to the son? You saved us. You're my hero, mister. I feel like when there's multiple NPCs right next to each other, it's sometimes unclear who you're targeting. It's amazing what we've achieved by banding together. Because, like, look at how long I have this up arrow. And it's only off to one particular... It's off to the one side that they're not facing, which seems a little awkward. It's tough being a famous streamer when the alarm could go off any minute. Oh man, 24-7 on calls, they're the worst. 
Is there nothing above here? I guess not. Okay. Oh, uh, okay, cool. I, what, uh, there's an invisible wall here? But there's also a dude over there. Okay. Oh, I'm actually spending all my energy by spamming dash. Can I just... Yeah, I can just do this. Can I go down now? Nope, that's the floor. Yeah, so it's, it's faster to not use the elevator, seemingly. How many, wait, how, how many, like, mess halls slash bars do they have? The point of all this fighting, it's not like we're winning. Are you winning, son? Sometimes I just feel like giving up and letting the shades get me. That's dark. Thanks for saving me, Kay. Oh, uh, so I guess we're populating this place more and more as we rescue dudes, too. There's those clunky ladder noises. Heard some shades carry shields. Could you get around them somehow? It was a good boy. What, we get... We we get currency and also a checkpoint for petting... Uh, petting this... Uh, is this a dog? Is this a cat? I don't know what this is, actually. My legs are so sore, okay? So sore. I'll sit down. You've got places that you can sit down. Clearly. Dark energy itself is invisible, but we can track it with our sensors. I don't really need that suit, bro. Just work out more. Wait, do they say something different if I'm not in the suit? What are you supposed to be? Mega Boy? Hyper Man? Super Kid? Ultimate Boy? They actually did change what they're saying. Alright, we already talked to this guy, but he's... Ready to head out? All right, he's the one who gives Let us permission. Let me know when you're right. And we can't talk to them apparently. I wonder if they're thinking about me too. What's up? <laughs> well, all right, barely conscious. All right, where was it that allowed me to warp before? Wasn't it like right out here? Or was it actually? It was from the menu. Uh, so let's go up to Quinn's room. Okay, yeah, now I still don't actually know what is that just a checkpoint? I don't know. Let's see what we've got here. The data you've given me I could almost build a suit of my own. Uh we've got six thousand and change. We can get a health upgrade. Uh we've got max energy upgrades. Berserk Attack 2. Is that an upgrade to the existing one, or is that a separate one? I don't know. Uh, power Jump. Jump whilst sliding. Diagonal dash into the ground. I haven't tried that, have I? And then press jump. Wait. Jump whilst sliding, and then press jump. I... I feel like there's a Department of Redundancy department going on here. Uh, Lightning Justice 2. Allows you to perform a second lightning justice. Is that the thing we're doing with B? Is that the heavy attack? I feel like it is. So, I was wondering if you're, like, limited to one at a time of those. Uh, double dash dash one more time whilst airborne. Okay, yeah, because I had tested that before and it seemed like we were only allowed to do one dash in midair. But you can dash as much as you want on the ground as long as you have energy. It, it's like, I'm... I'm a little confused about the energy gauge. Because, like, I guess it prevents you from spamming dash on the ground forever, but... That seems to be the only thing it prevents, because, like, air dash is already limited. So, like, why why even do that? I'm a little confused about that. You're just gonna make speedrunners angry. Uh, air clap. Press attack in the air to create an electric force field. When you say press attack... We talking heavy attack, or, or what? Because, like, I can already do... I guess, like, if you don't currently have the heavy attack button prompt, you can do that. Um... I don't know. 
Like, I could take the health upgrade now, or I could save up. I should probably take the health upgrade. Um, I honestly can't tell if the bar got any bigger or not, because, like, the energy is still the same size, I think? So, like, did it just factor it into the same size bar and not actually increase the bar at all? It's also interesting that, like, when you're in the base, you get a completely different pause screen than when you're in the world. Because, like, when we're in the world, we get that full screen with the teleport points and all this other stuff, too. And it seems like you can't get that here. Um, so what can we do, though? Because, like, there's clearly a couple of places that, like, we can't go yet, like that, and also here, so we don't have the element for it. But when I went over here, this guy wouldn't give us any missions, so, like, you can't tell me we hit the end of the demo already, right? Are you ready to head out? Because those... Also, when I press left and right, it's not actually changing the selection. Wait, wh hang on. What? Oh, was it selecting the area first as New Hope City? Okay. So, that is totally not obvious, because everything is already highlighted in green. Both the arrows at the top and the diamond. I assumed that I was controlling the diamond. I am not controlling the diamond, in fact. Uh, so something like maybe make the the green arrows, you know Blink like fade in and out something to make it clear. What's currently focused? Uh, I Okay, I guess the text is currently Shadowed and that's what's telling you that's currently focused. That was not obvious to me focus the controls not the text um, But now we're now there's a that blinking is something okay. Uh, yeah, that blinking is maybe a little too obvious now, why is that... This is the one we already did. So it's green to say it's cleared, I guess? And the things that are locked are actually above it. Okay. And this is presumably red to s indicate we haven't done it yet. It's a little weird that that changes color when focused, but that doesn't. But yeah, the blinking on the cursor here is a bit much. I mean, like, it's, it's, it's a very small area, so it's not the worst, but it doesn't need to blink that much. Holy crap. Um, that also- that button also blinks, as it turns out. Like, maybe come up with focus states that don't involve, like, photosensitivity, problematic blinking. Um, but yeah, let's try mission two. Also, sorry, I totally missed the question about what sort of bugs I ran into with Wolf Knight. But actually, that was the funny thing, is I couldn't remember what I ran into with it. I forget- I think that one might have crashed when I first opened it. <laughs> That might have been one of the things. Um, and then there was the thing with the diamond not filling in. The dev actually said I did legitimately get one of the diamond conditions, and it just didn't show up because that's probably not fully unlocked in the demo. Uh, I knew things were bad, but I didn't expect the whole place to be on fire. Oh. This is fine. Any ideas to what's going on? It looks like Genos has started his attack in earnest. Could it be the flame orb? We're gonna have to hurry if we want to find your friend. Why is the doors locked? There has to be a switch around here. All we need to do is find it. We should evacuate anyone we find while we're at it. Okay. Uh, is there any reason not to, like, be in my suit right now? I would think I would always want to be in the suit. Okay, so I can go through that. But I can't go through that. <clears throat> so the purple ones are active. And, the, okay, I was wondering if they only open in response to me being in the purple suit, but no, seems like they open anyway. Why did that take that long to die, and why were my zaps not hitting it? You, th you think they have enough gates here? Oh, hi. Where the hell did that come from? Holy crap. Oh, yeah. I still think those things need to, like, be obviously background in some way, and they're not. 
So, like, I keep instinctively going to hit them. You can't hit them. Anything else over here? No? Okay. Again, I got a really surprising wall kick there. Apparently, if I just push away from the wall, I kind of jump off of anyone? I didn't realize that was a thing before? Huh? Wait, why did that- I did not press jump. This is very weird. Like, that time I got the- that one time I got the jump noise also, and I don't know how. Like that. I pressed- okay, so that time I pressed, like, uh, away from the wall and up. That time I pressed away from the wall and down. But so did- I did that that time too, it didn't make the noise. It's weirdly inconsistent. Oh, there was another elevator there. Oh well, I skipped it. There's something else down here? What else is making noise? Oh, that is. Okay. Okay, it's weird that when you're clinging to ladders, you can't dash, but if you press A to uncling from the ladder, then you can dash up and go faster. Oh, well, he's gone. Oh, spikes there, that's good. I got another, like, surprising ledge vault there. Oh, what? Uh, hi! Yeah, so they're, like, clearly suggesting which ways you should go there. Uh, that's cool. Have spikes there so you bounce into them? Really? I guess there's supposed to be a way to not end up doing that. Uh, what does that do? Oh. I... So after we had... This is another foreground versus background issue. After we had that first level with, like, the the rock walls that we clearly couldn't do anything about yet, I assumed this was a rock wall that I couldn't do anything about, but no, it's background. Uh, I can go that way, or I can go this way. Uh, that is the point of no return, but probably so is that. Well, we found a dude in here. Okay, so we need to have resistance at 60%. The thing that was weird there is the bar animated down. Which is probably because it was animating from the point it was at in the first level, so... That that was a little... That's something that they need to, like, clear... Uh, between levels. Or reinitialize between levels, because presumably the percentage persists across, like... If you go... If I go into Mission 1 again... I would hope that it's, like, the percentage it was at already, and I don't have to, like, rescue everyone again. I mean, there might even be cases where, like, you can't rescue everybody in one go because of branching paths. I don't know. Uh, as it turns out, we can go back this way, too. And, yeah, we need to rescue more dudes to get through this gate. I really don't like those elevators. Like, if you had the elevator in the hub that you could precisely control, honestly too precisely, like, just let me push the button once and then make it go, why not do that with these two? Just push the button once and it goes, but don't toggle it as soon as I land on it. Oh, this is a checkpoint, okay. And then we're going this way. Anything else over there? Doesn't look like it. We have two ways to go here. 
Uh, okay, this is more rock that I can't, uh, wall that I can't do anything about right now. I that thing was already dead. Uh, so I can go up. Or I can go this way. Oh, that's actually just... Just blue things over there. It's so funny, I instinctively, like, jump off of ladders to fall faster, but, like, you can actually fall pretty fast while being on the ladder in this. Oh, cool, I can just, like, cheese that guy from there. Alright, so I can go that way. Is that actually where- that might be where we're going, regardless. Wait, there's another ladder up here? That's sneaky. Oh, dear. Oh, remember the thing where you can dash twice in midair? I think we need that for here. Yup, alright. See, now I'm regretting having paid for the extra health, which I haven't needed yet, and now I needed something else. Um... Maybe we can warp back to base after we get to the next checkpoint. Is the number in the top left actually my blue things? Because that's a lot. That's more than I thought I would have. Hey, here's another checkpoint. All right. Um, so... If I do quit, then it gives me base? Yeah. It says abort mission, though. Like, we're not really aborting the mission. I assume we can continue from that point. And now we can warp. I'm still kind of surprised we get completely different menus. But yeah, let me see what I can Let's do. Let's see what we've got here. No, I, okay, so that number at the top left is not this number. I don't know what that number at the top left is. How many do I need for the double dash? 22,000. I would be nowhere close to that anyway. I have not amassed more than 10k so far. Uh, let's warp again. Are you ready to head out? It feels kind of weird that you have to, like, go to the pause menu to warp in the hub. But I guess, like, if they had the actual, like, doorways in every single place you could warp, that would be a bit much. I don't know. It might feel cluttered. Uh, okay, right. We gotta press that first, then we go into here. And that's a start mission two again. But will I be able to, uh... Will I be able to just warp back to where I was? Oh, okay, when it said abort mission, it meant abort mission. So earlier when I saved and quit, it maintained my position in the current level, because I didn't technically abort the level, I was just stopping the game for the time being. Uh, if you abort a level, it clears that progress, apparently. Wait, why does the thing up there say 20% though? Because that's the- isn't that the rescue meter? I would assume that would have been, like, reinitialized as well, but at this rate, given that the teleporters are not accessible, even though I found them. Like, if there's inconsistency between you unlock the teleporters and you rescued the dudes, that seems kind of confusing. Also, I have no idea what the medals are yet. Okay, and now the top left number is, in fact, zero. Did I lose what I would have gained in the mission by aborting it? Is that actually what- I don't- I don't know. I also don't know if money is different than the top left thing, and if money is different than the blue thing. I, I'm a little confused by that. Like, as far as I've seen, we've only gotten one currency yet. <clears throat> it sure seems like that number on the top left goes up when I get the blue things. That money number is definitely very different than that top number, though, so that top number is some kind of score. We probably saw that at the end of the first stage. So yeah, different numbers. And no, we couldn't have lost it between levels, like when I aborted, because I did have 3,000. Is this thing ever gonna actually die? There we go. At least I don't think I would have had 3,000 without what I got- without having what I got in this mission before. One down there. Cool. 
Wait, can I? Cool, I can stay there and be safe. I was wondering if I could break this wall, though, but I can't. He does that little jump off the rail at the end without me touching anything. That's like an automatic dismount. Alright, is this guy gone, or he's, he's still gone? Yeah, so it, it did preserve that, but it didn't preserve my checkpoints. I don't understand that decision. Okay, I avoided taking the elevator, that's good. I was just looking over at my uh, OBS just to see if I'd been dropping any rendering frames, but not for the most part. It definitely felt like things chugged a little bit during that section. It's so weird how, like, the suction seems inconsistent. Did that other dude just run off? I thought there was another dude that just ran off. Maybe I got him. I don't know. Or maybe it was one of those. Wait, this guy's back? Didn't I obliterate that dude already? Do they actually respawn when you get far enough away? Can I just, like, farm things? Now he's gone. I don't know how that worked. That was weird. Unless it's after a time period. Some games do that. Uh, okay, but there was stuff in there. Uh, I don't trust this. Especially because I don't trust dismounting from walls. See, now he's not doing it. Now he did it. Last time he didn't do it. So why didn't he do it last time? Why is it inconsistent? Why is it inconsistent? Seriously. All I want is an inconsistent wall dismount jump. Okay, we didn't die. Cool. We didn't die in spite of the wonky wall jump dismount controls. stuff over here, though. Okay, was there anything else in here? I don't think so. Whoa, jeez. I just accidentally wall jumped without pressing the jump. Whoops. Why wasn't I getting the B prompt? There we go. I didn't want to do it to that guy. I didn't realize that is directional. Uh, 
Uh, there's health up here. I should get that. Easy to miss that. Why is this screen just, like, here with nothing? I, know. I am surprised that didn't hit me. Okay. I don't know how much damage those things do. <laughs> Sorry about your accident. Also, I like. Did it actually, like, leave the, the drops from that guy hovering so I could get them? That's pretty neat, actually. Hang on. Okay, more health over there. Uh, I did not get a wall jump that time. Is there anything to the right here? Nope! Alright, so that was my second legitimate death. And that was fucking around and funny. Huh? Well, that's pretty consistent. Oh, that skipped the ladder. Yeah, I thought I hit that guy. Apparently, I didn't. Okay, there are some things down there. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's a devious place to put a dude. What is my best bet for getting down there? Because Double Dash might be my best bet for getting down there. That works. I almost overdid it, but that works. The background there is kind of suspicious, but... He gets his shield back very fast if you're not, like, on him. I like how I only got one of them. That was a really weird automatic ledge vault over there. Yeah, yeah I guess we're just doing that, huh? I tried to go diagonally. Okay, yeah, that obliterates them. I wanted, uh, yeah, I wanted to go diagonally into that guy, but you can't go diagonally out of those things, as you know, pretty clearly illustrates. Oh, did I just? That was just me getting the guy's drop, I think. Let's hit that switch and warp back to area one. Is this a switch? Okay. That kind of looked like the other thing that I passed in the background, but there were spikes under that, so I'm not... And it looked... It had, like, had something on top of it. What is the question mark here? Is the teleporter to warp back to Area 1? Okay, so in case you hadn't figured out how teleports worked yet... Okay, make sure you know how teleports work. And the boss is actually right at the beginning of the level. <laughs> Wait, it's the same frickin' boss? Why? Except it's green. Oh no. It has ingested monster now. Oh, and it- okay, it's intensified. Oh, that was not great. Oh, falling rocks in the video game, what is this? Oh, jeez, I'm getting mobbed. I stuck to the wall there and I didn't want to. Okay. 
then. The, uh, the rotating fire uh, flamethrower phase is kind of a freebie. Uh, more so if you stay on the ground, as it turns out. I think I got myself hit during that last time. Okay. Oh, that's a mid-boss this time. Okay, they're making sure to give us our health then. Oh, right. I was expecting to air dash twice. That doesn't work right now. So wait, what is the switch doing? Okay. You do have to get over here fast. Again, I, do, I can't I can't trust wall jumps away from walls. heck is that? Oh, that's the end, apparently. So the boss was in the mill. It was a boss. Uh, so did we only die once? Yeah. So yeah, the top left number is score. It's not just your... Uh, I don't know if the meter at the bottom actually has to do with the rank you get. <sighs> Made it back. Still no sign of Dizzy. Hey, don't worry, Kay. We'll find her. Yeah, let's head back to the... Uh, what was that? Warning! Attack on Sector 7! Everyone, please remain inside and take cover! Warning! What's going on? It's looking like we're under attack. Okay, can you- Okay, can you hear me? Out and clear! There's an alarming amount of dark energy creatures at the hangar. You think you can- You and Fjord can lend us a hand? Don't worry, Commander. I'll go take him out. Thank you, Kay. Now, head over- Hurry over to the hangar. Okay. I guess now we get to go over there. Can I warp her? I can still warp. Uh, it looks like all the NPCs are gone, though. The hangar's up here anyway, so I figured I would check. I s I'm guessing that's a checkpoint, but, like, otherwise I still don't really know what the heck that is. Uh, actually, that isn't closer to it. This is closer to it. Are we fighting something here, or... Oh, we're fighting... Okay, is it Storm Eagle time? I'm taking way too many hits here. Well, I didn't see those bullets. I can dash through them, though, apparently. I could have got two for one before. There's like a cooldown on that. That should be all of them. Brilliant work, okay. They seem to be retreating. Phew. And that's the demo. You've unlocked the flame drill for- Flame drill, huh? So, because I was gonna say, like, is this gonna do something about the rock walls? I would have assumed I would need a drill for that, but apparently it's- it's both. Uh, wishlist now or continue. So that means I should be able to revisit stuff, right? And Are then presumably... Yeah, so we can only go to the places we've already been. Uh, but there were places in here that we could revisit that I had written down, but I think I remember where they are anyway. Is that like the alert sound too? Like, that's the warning noise, and it happens when you warp. Okay. Wh why can't I... I already cleared this mission. Why can't I teleport? Why do I have to go through it again? Because I, I was just going to teleport to the area that I knew I needed to revisit. Why do I have to go through the entire level again if I already cleared it? That doesn't make sense to me. Everything does respawn in it, though, as far as, like, the, the blue things. So you can farm blue things by revisiting levels.
Okay, yeah, so they put the yellow things there with the intent of you using your... your special move, your super move, whatever. Oh yeah, didn't the game say something about a super jump before, too? And I'm not sure I've really, like, messed with that. Oh yeah, it was right there, hang on. If the trail is blue, press B to strike. Tag enemies with lightning. It's funny, because I was thinking I was doing it when, when the trail was red, but maybe it's red when you're on cooldown. Uh, when you've launched an enemy in the air, press A to super jump. That's what I haven't tried. And it says, be sure to keep an eye on the moves in the bottom left, which I, I don't understand what the icons mean. Oh yeah, also, I didn't notice, these lights right here, totally uh, Mega Man X intro stage territory. That was the wrong button. I, I should have pressed A there. I pressed B. Wait, is there anything over there? There is. Have I been over here? Okay, I did. I rescued a dude over here. I pressed the wrong button again. Yeah, I don't know why that area chugs like that. I missed one. And then there was a dude to rescue up there too, I think. I didn't have time to try to do a super jump there. He got launched off screen so quick. Uh, I forget what the deal with that. That might have been where the first B logo was. I forget. And I'm still not sure what those do. I guess those are the medals. But I don't know what they do. There's a thing up here. I might have missed this one. Yep. What else is up here? Ah! Another one of these. What is my rating at? My rating is at 60. I can... Okay, yeah, the red one is actually open. Okay. I didn't know there was one of these in this level, too. Let's find out what's behind it. Oh, what's another fight? Yeah, so it's red when it's on cooldown. Alright, I think we did it. Hello. Just get all the stuff. Okay, I just realized it shows those on the left below your health bar and stuff when you pick them up. I hadn't looked over there fast enough, I guess. Okay, so now we should be able to change form. Oh. It's seriously that mechanic- so there's- the funny thing is, there's another game in Next Fest that was shown on the live stream that is entirely predicated around exactly that mechanic. And I was like, I've already played Ori 2, I think I've had enough of that mechanic. Um, it seems like a pretty good game though. I forget what the name of it is, so I know that's really not helpful, but... Uh... Okay, you know what I need to also try? Oh, that's different! Okay, the dash mechanic is completely different in this form. 
I need to try, like, sliding. Because it says something about, like... Didn't it say something about sliding into the ground? I feel like that isn't much of a slide, though. Um, it might be because I don't have, like, the ability on top of it. Oh. Am I going backwards now? I'm confused. I should actually try fighting with this. Oh, it's, it's so different. And I don't have, like, I don't seem to have a heavy attack for it. I tried to double dash effectively. Okay, no, I hadn't been here. He's practically the Tasmanian Devil. But yeah, you can't really control it in the air, it has, like, a set trajectory. Oh, okay, so his his heavy attack is actually just a set thing this time, I think. It's not like a, a tagging thing, like it is with the electric one. And also the bottom left clears. It automatically changed. I don't even have to change forms. It automatically changes if I just go into that. Interesting. There was something over there. There isn't. Oh, but I can go through this now. So is that like? Wait, how is that? So metal says two out of five, but haven't I picked up like three or four of them? Is it because I haven't been to a teleporter yet? There's a thing up there. I was keeping an eye on the ceiling this time. Oh, that's how the bird talked instead of me. Instead of the, in, instead of the berserk boy. I was not expecting a tanky enemy there. Okay, don't go down there. There's a thing down here. We're at 80% on that now. Not bad. Okay. It just showed a thing on the left, 5 out of 5. We have all the medals now. We also have zero money. Did we always have zero money, or did it, like, bank that when I went to the checkpoint or something? I still haven't really managed to try the super jump thing. <laughs> he ran into that. Ow. And then I just stood in his hitbox. There it seems one.
They had another weird bounce off the wall there. Okay. I ran into that. Oh yeah, wasn't this the one that has the shortcut? Yep, it is. There's, there's other stuff up here, though. That was not good. That was also not good. Okay, maybe stop doing that. That's what I was talking about with the super jump. Also, I am realizing now that that actually... So the down and A is a different thing. Originally, I was equating it to the same as a downward dash. It's not the same thing. And it probably breaks those blocks below you faster. I don't know why I was chugging through that hallway a bunch. So presumably, in order for all this to count, we do need to clear the boss again. And for some reason, these guys need to be rescued again, even though we totally did this already. Let's find out what you got. And it does seem like you can bounce on things, too, and it damages them. I gotta remember I don't have to be right next to him for that. I've never seen you do this before. And you can hit it when it does that. Come on, you're almost dead. I just needed to tag it once more. Let's do it. So I didn't die that time, right? There you go. Still not a full meter down there, whatever that means. Um, I guess if I can, uh, if I can get double dash now, that would give me stuff to do in the second area. Do you ever clean this thing? <laughs> That's a real question. Fifteen seven. That should be enough. Uh, no, it's not. Never mind. Uh, oh wait, there's- oh, now we have moves for this too. Charge Slash and Third Slash. Man, it stinks that Double Dash is so expensive. <laughs> um, so there's clearly a little bit more that I could do in the second area. Also, I don't know if I got 100%, um, rescues in the first area. I don't know if I can tell that from the mission screen. I wasn't paying attention to the results screen if it, if it showed that. Uh, okay, so, yeah, that bar indicates... Wait, what? 
so we've we, we've got the the little red bar up top and then we've got the big red bar at the bottom but they're they're the same bar right I think they're the same thing so that's a little weird um but, yeah, so it seems like you are intended to do a full run of the stage when you go into it. You, it's, it's not really a, it's not a saved progress revisit. Although it is in terms of the resistance guys, which is interesting. I'm surprised they don't get reset too. Like, well, no, I guess the metal saved too, right? Because it's weird, because, like, there's the time benchmark up there as well. But that would be biased if there's some stuff you don't need to recollect in it. Because, like, is it judging time based on your fastest run ever, and irrespective of how many medals or resistance you got? I'm not sure about that. I don't think it's total out of multiple visits. I think it's one- I think the time represents your fastest one. Um, but I guess that makes when you're ready. I guess it makes sense to uh, to call this playthrough there. I'm not gonna grind more just for the sake of getting double dash. Uh, what we can do is quit to menu and try retro mode. So I don't think I ever died to enemy damage. I only ever died from falling in a pit a couple of times. But I definitely got a little close once or twice. So I'm curious how much more damage things will do. Because it says face stronger enemies. Are, are they going to do more damage, or are they just going to be tankier, or is it both? Also, actually, I want to check something. Okay, yeah, so it shows your, it shows your total metal count over on the right side. I feel like that, that cyan font could, ten could stand to be brighter. Especially for the metal count, because, like, as, as much as the whole... I used to love the aesthetic of, like, the, the slightly brighter shade of the same color on the darker shade. For, like, you know, the LCD look or something. Um, but I have, I have learned in <laughs> since then that it is not great for color contrast for people with low vision. Um, so, picking a more contrasting color might be a better idea. Uh, but yeah, let's try Retro. This mode does not give any extra achievement... It's interesting that they, they give you that warning. Out of every possible warning they could give you, that is the one that they give you. Is like, are you sure you care about doing this? Because, like, it doesn't do anything for you. Us other than make the game harder. Like, it's an interesting way to phrase that. Can I skip this, I wonder? I don't think I can skip this. But I can press X instead of A, apparently. Can I, can I hold A? Nope. So, yeah, another suggestion. Especially given you do, like, level times and stuff. If you want this game to be speedrunner friendly, make the cutscenes skippable. Maybe this is just a demo thing. Like, you know, maybe, it w maybe they will be skippable for the full game, but... That is definitely something to think about. And also make the tutorial skippable. So you're supposed to do that, to clear that immediately. Okay, so they still die in the 1-2 punch. So they don't take any less damage. They probably cause more damage. 
Wait, I forget. Does this have... Yeah, this has the thing. Not that, I, not that completion really matters to me right now. The doggos might be stronger. I thought they might have been one-shot before. Oh, nice shot, dude. Yeah, so that did a whole tick of uh, damage, or maybe more, it looks like. Well, that was almost dead. I bet your spikes will one-shot you now, because I was surprised the spikes didn't one-shot me on modern. Oh, that was the wrong button. Oh, well, that was unfortunate. Oh, he wasn't dead yet. Interesting. So, yeah, some enemies might actually have a little more health. Okay, that refills our health anyway. So now I don't have the other suit, so I can't go in there. Lucky I didn't get hit by that. Never mind, I got hit by that instead. I feel like that exact same thing probably happens in the last one. like two hits out of those guys with the uh the heavy attack fell into the dude's hitbox. I forget what was down there. It's just more of those things. Oh, and a 1-up. Okay. 1-ups don't exist in the other mode because you don't need them. They're, you have infinite lives. So that's unique to this mode. And they put it right before the room that I died in before. I guess the six is my number of lives. Does it show that here somewhere too? It doesn't look like it shows that here. What is... I'm just noticing there's like a seemingly a meter below me, like below the portrait too, and I don't know what that is. Oh, that is... wait. 
that is my, uh, my Berserk meter. Okay. I didn't realize- wait, does the Berserk meter actually feel slower in this mode? I didn't think I had used it that recently. Good time for that. Okay, so boss time, boss time. Let's see if it manages to kill me. Let's find out what you got. Oh, that was a silly hit to take. Gauge is full now. Oh shoot. Uh, that might have missed. Run into him. Fortunately, I dashed. Still got him, but was I one hit from death there? I might have been one hit from death. One or two. But I took at least two or maybe three hits in there. Let's do it. So. I'm not sure how different it feels, actually. It's... I mean, like... I kind of expected it to feel more brutal than it did. Which isn't to say that it should necessarily be more brutal than that, but... I had trouble, like... Like, it did seem like there was, you know, some fractional order of magnitude, more health to some enemies. Not sure about the boss, actually, in terms of that. Um... Shoutouts to the neighbor who hasn't heard of mufflers. Mufflers are good. Uh, I don't know if that came through on the mic. But, yeah, it seemed like other than the lives count, which I managed to not die that time anyway, uh, it seemed like other than the lives count, like, the lives count was the most discernible difference. It seemed like everything else was, like, just a hair tougher. So I would not be surprised if people actually asked for a hard mode that's harder than retro mode. But I also don't know how this is going to scale up in the, you know, in future levels and stuff. We've only seen two levels of the game. And given that it was kind of like variations of the same boss on both levels, I'm assuming that only really counts as like, like it was all in one area too, right? But then there were two other levels visible on the map that were locked. Um... I'm not sure, like, how many levels the game is going to eventually be. I don't think the store page specifically called that out. So, like, I don't have a good sense of, like, the size of the full game in terms of how much it's likely to ramp up the difficulty. Um, I'm actually, like... If anything, I'm surprised that so many enemies do die as quickly as they do, but you do have the, the one variant... the one variety of, of airborne enemy that takes quite a few... that can take quite a few hits. And the shield guys that are tanky, in particular. Um, and yeah, like I said, as you get to additional areas, I'm sure they're going to throw more curveballs at you. Because, like, right now, it seems like you can stay in a flow pretty easily. Other than the whole, like, questionable wall jumping. Like, the, the questionable jumping away from walls that felt very inconsistent and weird to me. But, uh... It's definitely off to a good start. I can definitely see this being something that a lot of people will like. And, like I said, seems like something, uh, especially given the presence of orbs, seems like something that we will probably end up seeing at GDQ eventually. Um, so, uh, good job on Berserk Boy. Let's uh, at least go back to the menu one final time. Um... Yeah, see, now you see the start. I didn't pay attention to that last time, but, like, we saw the Enter key before. If I move the mouse, it'll probably switch the prompt again. No, actually, it didn't. If I press a key, it will. Um, and if I press a button, it's... So it's one of those games that, like, detects what you 
what your current controller is uh, to switch button prompts, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, pretty uh, off to a pretty good start. So that was Berserk Boy. You can try it right now. Uh, download the demo off of the Steam store page and give it a look. I am going to move on to a second game. I'll probably take a break first. Uh, that actually lasted a significant amount of time because of the Metroidvania aspect as well. It's a little weird. Like, I guess that's one thing I should comment on. Is like, it's a weird... It, it, it does have Metroidvania aspects, but usually when... You, that, that was part of why I was so thrown off by the portals. Uh, like, the, the lack of fast travel when I came back into an area I had previously cleared before. Because... When you say Metroidvania, I'm thinking that, like, areas that I cleared will remain cleared, and that was only partially true. And I'm guessing it's to, like, maintain the integrity of the the time that it shows attached to each level. But even then, like, that's not going to be totally in... That, that, that's not, that integrity is not entirely there, because, like, the dudes that you rescued stay rescued. The metals that you already picked up stay picked up. So, that time is not going to be representative of a 100% run through the level anyway when you finally hit 100%. It's going to be representative of the rest of the owl, so to speak. Um, so, that, that seemed a bit weird to me. But I still do appreciate the Metroidvania aspects of it. It is very much like you would expect in like an early Mega Man X game or something. Uh, so, yeah. 